Hello everyone, this is Stefan coming to you once again from inside the doghouse. So I mentioned before when it rains it pours and I ended up getting another collection this week. So this is a, a second you know, bigger purchase that I've made. And um, this one, there's a bit of a story behind it, but the, the to make a long story short, this was what probably my favorite collection purchase that I've ever made since I started collecting comics. So that sets the stage for what's to come. Um, I, a few weeks ago, I, um, I was contacted by an older couple who were downsizing. They, they showed me a bunch of comics. I, I bought a, like she hulk from them which is you know i didn't make a video or, or anything from that um but uh you know they were really nice and i was you know, kind of helping them out i did have to pass in the 90s superman um and in that collection there wasn't you know a, a ton of stuff to get you know all that excited about but we started talking because they're really nice and uh and the older gentleman he goes back to collecting in an era even a little bit before me and so we were, we we're talking about, you know, scary comics. And I mentioned how my brothers collected those and they gave them to me, like their scary comics and their Westerns. When, I, when they saw that I was interested in comics, because at that time I was buying Star Wars. So superhero comics for me came much later. And so my roots for comic collecting go back to that. They go back, you know, very heavily and deeply into scary comics from the 70s. And... Uh, and he mentioned that he had a bunch. He just had to dig them out. So he contacted me again and he said, well, I've got a uh, 120 of them. Um, uh, here's, here's my price. And I bought them sight unseen because, um, I knew, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter for me. Like I, I just love these comics so much. And the, the, the price was, you know, reasonable enough. And, and so I, I just, I showed up, uh, we met again, talked for a couple of minutes on a really cold day. So I had to, you know, uh, uh, you know, get the, get the deal done very quickly because we were outside and he, um, I, I took the comics home and I started going through them. And so this is like, you know, break open tickets or something, because even though I love these, uh, I, I do realize that some of them are going to be more valuable than others. And there were like dollar comics in there for sure. And so I'll go through, and the first thing that I saw was uh, Werewolf by Night. And this is what it, and the one that was on top was my favorite Werewolf by Night cover. This is just absolutely fantastic. And so I was able to kind of count through with the numbers. So 17, not all of them are there, 18. And then 19, and I was starting to get excited. It's like, this is a pretty big run. And then it jumped from 19 to 29. And I was thinking, okay, well, you know, there's, there's obviously big gaps in this collection. Maybe the, 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 the bigger comics aren't there. And then I got to 31 and I kind of held my breath and I flipped one more time. And the 32 is actually there, first Moon Knight, 33, um, his second appearance. And so that made me really happy to see it. Um, I, again, I, I would have, I, I did buy the collection, um, regardless of whether that was there, but it's always a bonus when you, when, when the, the, um, the keys are actually intact. So, um, Werewolf by Night was the first thing. And then it went to Frankenstein Monster, which is like a, a fantastic series. I just like my brothers had a bunch of these and I just loved reading them. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time reading over the next while. It's really excited to see the, uh, the Frankenstein Monster. It, it doesn't go back to the beginning, but it's, um, you know, it's a decent run from, you know, the early part of the series. So we're, we were off to a good start, and the next thing that I saw were a whole bunch of comics like this. Um, I, I've never heard of this, and so this is in my reading pile. I'll get to this later, and uh, probably by the weekend I'll have this read. So uh, always great to see new things that I've never seen before. And then, a, you know, a bunch of um, series like, like Worlds Unknown, for example, and there's early ones from there. 
where creatures roam. Just I, I just I absolutely love this stuff. And if you don't, well, this may not be the video for you, but I like I just this brings me back to when I was a young kid and growing and, and reading comics for the first time and going through them and just reading them again and again and again. Um, I absolutely love this stuff and I, I can't get enough of it. So more where creatures roam, which is I, I believe this is just reprinting another series. <clears throat> and then I came across the Tube of Dracula books, which do not go all the way back to number one. I saw five, which has uh, staining right there, but that's you know that's fine. That's going to happen. And another thing, I'm going to use this book to illustrate because you could see it. This person had bought everything off the newsstand himself, and you could see the store is written in either ink or pencil. There's a store date on it. Uh, this one is 10 slash 30. So it came in on October 30th of whatever year um, it was distributed. And the stores use that to uh, to do inventory control. It doesn't impact on, on grade technically, although some people are okay with that. Some people aren't, so it affects desirability. And this one actually has a stamp on it up top for a date. And so going through the Dracula, you see seven and eight. And, and again, I was getting excited. Number nine popped up, which is a fantastic cover, by the way. This is amazing. And then number 10 was actually there. And it, and it has the, uh, the in pencil right over there, the date from the store. And this one had a spine or has a spine roll. Um, I don't know if it's going to show up very well, but you can see I was kind of crunched in the bag. And um, all of these were stored without boards and old, very old bags. So I've rebagged and boarded everything. And this one, I'm going to press it out and try to get like uh, get rid of the spine roll on it. Uh, the spine roll is pretty unseemly and it's pretty big. Um, and so moving on, we have, you know, number 11, which is a better cover than 10. But everyone wants 10 because it's first blade. Um, so 12. And this is just a big stack. And I'm just going to go through them. I have two of Dracula comics that were in there. And I just love having you know decent runs of this series it's it's so much fun to read they're great books uh i i i can't say enough about them you see some werewolf stuff or werewolf by night uh making an appearance there and it's just absolutely fantastic you see blade making an appearance over here and all of these again they'll, they'll they have, well, almost all of them have like the dates written on them uh, because of how they were bought. They just bought, they went to the person, the guy went to uh, a newsstand, whatever was close to his home, uh, picked up the comics, and, and that's just how they are. So I'm going through these very quickly, but. There, in in general, the conditions are sevens and eights. There were some gold key that I'm not showing in this video that are, you know, threes. Um, and a couple of comics have rips, um, including the uh, Werewolf by Night 32. It has a small rip on the side, which caps the grade that it's going to get to. Otherwise, it's a pretty nice copy. And we see Blade again. And so that's the the werewolf by night so we're, we have like just so many cool books um that i had to make other piles you know cryptic shadows was another series in there uh, the, the 70s version beware i love this cover um and my brothers didn't have number one but they had this one so now i finally get a chance to read number one there's multiple copies of some books <clears throat> and here's the last stack before I end the video, but there's just so much to show. Like I've left out more than I'm including, but um, Where Monsters Dwell, which was a favorite series of mine. My brothers had this one, so I'm anxious to go through and read it again and see if it's as good as I remember. And and so we have, you know, these bug creatures and and, and stuff like that. And the, co the coolest one in the Where Monsters Dwell run is this. 
an early appearance of Groot. Like Groot goes back to Tales to Astonish, as I'm sure most of you know. But this isn't, you know, it it, it is af- like well after, but it's it, it's a very early appearance, and you, you notice that Groot is not just saying. I am Groot, like in the movies, it's behold, I am Groot the Invincible, who dares to defy me, (laughs) stuff like that, which is how Groot talked when he was still a villain in the early comics. Um, So more um, in this series, Where Monsters Dwell, which is one of my favorite series to read. Groot 2, we have all of these kind of random monsters that never caught on in a big way but there's still a lot of fun like the green thing which you know looks a lot like the swamp thing um <clears throat> where monster and uh craw the unhuman things like that and this is my brothers had this one and this cover always fascinated me i absolutely love like the contrast with the blue and the and the red it just caught my eye right away and and so it, it ended up being you know a favorite of mine when i was young just because i was always drawn to it and um and we'll end and of course electro um you know reprinting one of the uh proto comics um that that had occurred way before so yeah it was it, it, it was just so much fun like this collection like it you know we people who do this for well people like me will will be buying things you know continually but there's some things that i just love that that take me back that remind me of why i love collecting comics and this collection was it 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 had like I'll, I'll, i'm going to be spending you know, the next month going through and, and just going through the comics and reading the ones that I haven't read and re- maybe rereading ones that I have just to see if I if my memories are are correct uh, about how the comic went. It, it's just a, a, amazing. It's so much fun to to go through and, and have a collection like this. Sadly, we don't get collections like this very often anymore. Um, a lot of times the key issues are missing because people have gone through and cherry picked out, you know, people who buy comics cherry picked out the good ones and and, and many of them have been sent off for grading and so they're encapsulated and you can never you can never read them again. And uh, I'm really looking forward to I've I've never read the first appearance of Moon Knight and Werewolf by Night 32. I've never read uh, Two of Dracula 10. I, my brothers had number 11, which was, you know, I, I just read that comic again and again. I probably read that hundred, in the hundreds of times, but I've never had or read number 10. So I finally, you know, realized this lifelong ambition to, to be able to read that one, uh, which, which makes me like super happy. So, that is it for this video um yeah i I bought a couple of collections lately which is fantastic um and i've got a series coming up that um as soon as there's a lull between other things that i'm posting i'm going to start that series so hopefully i'll have another another video up in you know in the next week or so but i don't have any timetable for for posting things it's just when things happen and and i'm able to to make a video that that i think people will enjoy So until next time, uh, best of luck uh, hunting for your comics and and realizing your goals. And until next time, uh, happy collecting.